Everybody's coming in the Roadshow Kitchen saying, man, oh man, it smells good. No, it is not Josito's Cologne. TV maker D, Josito's here, Chef John Granada, Post Office Cafe. Chicken and spinach cannelloni is what we are making. It does smell good. It smells delicious. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's, fantastic. It's supposed to do that. Yeah. We have some, uh, some great ingredients that we can uh, put together for this. What do we need, sir? All right, so um, first of all, let me say that, you know, if you're having a little intimate Christmas party together, um, you know, maybe on a on a on a week weekend night. Right. This is a great dish for that. You know, it doesn't take long. You're not going to believe how short this takes. Economical too. And sure. very economical. And if you're going to do this for Christmas uh, Day, you could just quadruple the recipe depending on how many people you have. And make so, it. Basically, all it is is some chicken breasts that we cut up into little pieces. Okay. We're going to use some olive oil to saute that up with some garlic, obviously, salt and pepper. We have some fresh baby spinach. Then we're going to add a little bit of heavy cream to the pan, some Parmesan cheese and ricotta cheese, and we're going to tighten it up with a little bit of breadcrumbs. And we're going to put some basil in it because basil, believe it or not, Whoa. goes really well with spinach. It kind of brings it all out. And that's it. And Can't then miss. Some, some fresh pasta sheets. And we're, gonna, we're just going to roll everything up with some fresh tomato sauce and cover it with a blanket of mozzarella and cheese. And I'm going to watch all this. And he's going to watch all of this. So it sounds delicious to me. We will put this together. We'll talk about everything that's going on at the Post Office Cafe. And what this gentleman over here has got going on, he's a busy guy. Back to you. Take it away, pal. Hey, it's a good day in the Roadshow Kitchen. TV, maitre d' Josito, Chef John Granada here. Post Office Cafe is the place. Chicken and spinach cannelloni yes. is what we are making. You said this is simple and easy to do. Simple. Great for a little intimate together holiday thing. Or if you want to quadruple this, you can do that, too. For Christmas Day. Um, just sits on that table, and people come, and they take They kind of like pick. Just, yeah. Yeah. Right, right. So I took some chicken tenderloins, or you can use chicken tenderloins, or you can use chicken breasts, but cut them into small pieces, mm -hmm. right? Just kind of lightly flour them, and drop them in the hot olive oil. Got and, that nice uh, little... Yeah, get a little thing going on All over right. here. Um, you know, I have to say... Um, Today is my daughter's 21st birthday. Wow. Ah, uh, yeah. 21. And, and I can't believe that. And happy birthday, Danielle. Yeah. A big so happy birthday. Just a beautiful young lady. Happy birthday, Danielle. 21 years old. It's yes. crazy. I remember. It was just a short time ago. <laughs> yes, I was 21, you were 21 years old. too. I wasn't a beautiful young lady, but <laughs> no, you know. I was 20, all right. You did the best you could. Yeah. You, you did the best you could. That's the best you could of what he had. So, right. so let that simmer so for a little while. You said you put olive oil in there. Right. Olive oil, extra virgin. Mm -hmm. All right. And then what you want to do is as you start to get some color on the chicken, you want to kind of push it to the side and throw your spinach in right away because it's going to wilt down. Right. Right. Yeah, and a lot of times when you see spinach and you put it in the pan, it'll oh, yeah. No, no, you have you nothing by the time with. you're done. Yeah, you right. think you have a, a lot of it there, and yeah. then all of a sudden you look at it and it's it's all gone. A so, lot of flavors here. So, so I was basil. saying, chicken and basil go together really. I mean, uh, spinach and basil go together really well. You're not you're not going to believe that, but they really play off each other really well. So mm -hmm. you want to tear some up and throw that in there. Same color. You're not going to know the difference. That's a lot of great flavor. I mean, right. we can smell the garlic in them. Right. Sure, that's probably and the here we go. So we're going to get that garlic in there. That's, that's why. What it's all that's about. why. Right? A little garlic and season. Salt. Salt. Pepper. This is simple. It's simplicity. Yeah. Again, when you get the perfect Italian dishes, the classic dishes, mm -hmm. fresh ingredients, simple preparation, you can't do any better than that. Okay. And, and, and any wonderful... Italian chef. We'll know all about it. Yes, yes, same thing. All right, so we will let this simmer away in just a little bit, and Christmas is right around the corner. We will talk about the Post Office Cafe, great place to get a meal. Back to you. We are in the Roadshow Kitchen. TV made to D, Joe Zito, Chef John Granada's here, Post Office Cafe. Chicken and spinach. Cannelloni is what we are making. I was just looking down at this. It looks great. It smells even better. And it's so simple. And it's simple to do. So when we left, basically we added the cream. Uh, we reduced it down. I hit it with a little bit of breadcrumbs to tighten it up a little mm -hmm. bit. A um, very little bit. Just a couple of tablespoons to a large batch, and that'll absorb everything. Uh, Pecorino Romano, and we just want to put some ricotta cheese in there. <laughs> exactly, Joe. You have said that very eloquently. And it's, and it's only two calories. <laughs> you said yeah. that. That's the amazing thing about <laughs> this. Joe. Oh. Oh. If you think about the calories, the more people you, you uh, invite, you can spread the calories. Yeah, amongst spread the it about. Calories everybody. go down. Yeah, right? Very, very good. It's Christmas. Yeah, sure. So then so, you also said you had the fresh. Um, so fresh pasta, pasta sheets. You can get these almost anywhere nowadays. So um, you want to cut them, or if, if uh, you want to be somewhere around six by six, something like that. But because the casserole dish was a little small, I, I cut it. 
Um, but that's a good thing about getting the pasta sheets. You can cut them any size you want to a right. casserole. So you just want to put that in, and you're pretty much going to roll that up like a cigar. Put that in so there. So we want to put a little bit of sauce on the bottom. Okay. Just so it doesn't burn on the bottom of the pan. Does so you, you want me to do that? Do I, do, I can roll them in. Well, I don't want you to get dirty. No, that's fine. I don't care. Okay. So you roll them up. Roll these right up. Yep. Put them in there. It's a nice thing to do with the kids. It's you know. good. Yeah, it you is. have time during the day. And, and, and oh, because I got a lot of time during the day. Cooking with the not you. <laughs> cooking with the cooking with the kids. It gets them involved. Gets them away from the the, the computer and the screen, yes. the TV screen, and they do something they'll remember, man. Right. It's put a little good. more. Put a little more on top. Put sauce on top. Dear God, that looks good. Right. Yeah. And then blanket it. Give it a nice blanket. Nice blanket of cheese. Yeah. Okay, well, I think you top one out. I He's do. got this one here. We'll switch to the old switcheroo. So we're looking at like 425 degrees for, you know, 25 to 30 minutes. You got that, boss? I mean, that, I that's do. it. He's got that. Yeah, we'll toss this that one, one in back. here. Look at that. Look at this. Oh. This is teamwork. It is. I mean, that's that was nothing, you know? Put that in. Okay, so that looks fantastic. We've got this. You also right. want to talk about um, yes. holiday to go. Yeah, so we, we can do all these things to go for you, too, for, for, uh, for your holiday festivities, for Christmas Eve. You know, we need... Uh, 20, uh, within 24 hours of the, uh, the party or, or the to, event, yeah, yeah, or up to the, you know, better like Monday before. Mm -hmm. You could give your order. Uh, yeah. We offer sides for your Christmas dinner. We offer um, lasagnas, seafood dishes for la, the La Vigilia mm -hmm. uh, to be picked up on Christmas Eve. By and four Christmas Eve, you're also open. And and you're also open, open right? until 7:30 on Christmas Eve. Uh, you know, it is a Saturday this year. So. The nice thing is, too, is because people, a lot of people, they want to really enjoy their holiday. Well, it's a long weekend. It's a long weekend. They want to enjoy the holiday. A lot of times you're cooking like crazy, and you don't yeah. get to en enjoy the party, the, the folks who are coming over to your house. Right. right. So this exactly. is a good way This is a good way to do it. And while you're there, you may have a little wine. Very quickly, this is one of my favorites, and you'll find it everywhere. Many different varietals. This is Barefoot Cellars from California. Mm -hmm. This is the Merlot, which would stand up very well to this. I have this all the time at home. It's a $7 bottle of wine. Right. But this is the best $7 bottle of wine you're ever going to find, and it's like 7 bucks. And I'm telling you what, sometimes value is all good. You know I bring all sorts of wine on here, but this is one I'm particularly fond of. And I'm also particularly fond of my shows. And if you're looking for places to go other than the post office, which is fabulous, this, this is holiday delicious. season, TV Maitre d' has three editions running throughout the month. So you could literally cook this dinner for, with the wine for four, for four people for like $25. I got to tell you, everything that you do make at the restaurant is so so good this is I, watching you simple and easy to make yeah and it is it's delicious right so we want people to it's really really good and it's free and it, yeah, that's even, that's that's even really the better economical. part <laughs> <laughs> and it's free too so what are the shows that are coming up that you have well this sunday I i'm have, asking this question so i can keep eating <laughs> i have one show out of the post office cafe I have another one that uh, originates out of the rooftop at the Providence G, which is open year-round. Really nice place, too. And I have another show which which uh, uh, um, emanates from Osteria Toscana in Johnston. They're loaded with all sorts of wine and champagne and cooking and restaurants. And if you want to know where to go to buy gift certificates and the like, there are 37 restaurants on three shows. Yeah. It is the place to go. You know where to look for TV Maitre d'. Sounds good to me. And also Post Office Cafe located? 11 Main Street. 11 Main Street. East in, Greenwich. In, the East gateway Greenwich. Of, of, of downtown East Greenwich. And this is incredibly good. All right. So thanks so much, guys, for coming in. Thank Merry you. Christmas to both of you. Merry Christmas. If you would like this recipe, it is already posted on our website, roadshow.com. Bye.